Okay, so because the in linear programming, uh, integer linear programming models are uh, more difficult, sometimes much more difficult than linear programming models, sometimes it is tempting to solve just the uh, LP relaxation of an integer model and simply round fractional values to integer values, right, up or down. Now, um, this is a good idea, a practical idea, but I just want to warn you that it does not always work, right? And the cases that may might happen, may, may happen is the rounded solution might be infeasible, right? If you round the solution up or down the variables, you might get infeasible solutions. So basically, whenever you do this, check that this is feasible, right? Check that after rounding, you're still uh, satisfying the constraints. Uh, even if it is feasible, the solution might be worse than optimal integer solution. So basically, by rounding, you may get a feasible solution. Don't think it is optimal because it is not guaranteed to be optimal. But notice this is a good heuristic. I mean, you may get a pretty, de pretty decent uh, uh, feasible solution in some cases. And the last thing that I want to mention here is that uh, if rounding, uh, if you try to round, if you have many variables, uh, then the, the rounding problem itself becomes quite time-consuming, right? If I have two variables, there isn't many options. I can round both of them up, both of them down, or one up, one down, right? Giving me a total of four options. Uh, but if you have uh, n fractional variables, in general n can be 10 variables, 20, 50, 100, right? Y you might, and all of them are fractional, you might have, you might have to test 2 to the power of n integer solutions because for every variable you have two options up or down and then you have to once you choose the, the, the up or down for the first variable you, you have to test the second and so on so basically you may end up testing quite a lot and I'm giving here uh, two examples one uh, where rounding is infeasible right if this is this problem in if you solve linear programming relaxation you get the sol solution 2.54 2.07 with a value 4.61 of profit but if you try to round whether down to two uh, one variable up or the other variable up or both variable up and you all of those solutions if you plug them into the constraints you'll see all of them are infeasible and that's because the constraints are not not a, not a, your typical resource constraints uh, actually optimal solution is one one with a value two which is which is far away from all those right and uh, a second example that I have here is in this problem if you solve linear programming relaxation you get 2.69 and 2.33 x1 x2 with a value 172.2 and if you try rounding three of the rounded solutions are not feasible but uh, rounding up up both variables is feasible three three is feasible right that's because we have the nice uh, constraints with positive coefficients and greater than or equal sign rounding up works right so three three worked and gives us 204 in this case units of cost right cost is 204 however if you try to find an optimal solution integer linear programming problem optimal solution is 1 5 with a value 188 you can check plugging in 1 5 1 5 here will give you uh, will, will be feasible and it gives lower cost it is actually the optimal cost so you see rounded solution might be worse in this example than optimal integer solution